Thank you for joining today. This is Winslow again in ARC, and we are going to be starting a new survivor on Scorched Earth. So I wanted to go through here. I have a preset for just kind of my generic dude. And we're going to pop into Oh, Midlands 4. It says it's easy. Ark saying a region is easy is a lie. So we're going to go ahead and just try there. Now I still have Winston on the aisle. And I wanted to start with Scorched Earth because I particularly enjoy Scorched Earth. I wanted to go ahead and get a start on it. If need be, I can replace Wilson here with Winston once Winston is ascended and is ready to come over to Scorched Earth. At that point, I should be appropriately leveled, have a good base. It's all in the cluster. We should be able to go forward. Uh, but I'm in that point on the island where I'm just doing breeding for mutations so I can get through the alpha fights and then work on ascension, which I will be showing in later videos. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and jump into Scorched Earth and um, dive thirst in the desert. So let's go ahead and start. Thank you for joining. I hope we all get a good benefit out of slowly dying of thirst in the desert. Looks like a pretty good spot. I'm close to the green obelisk. Um, you'll notice that I have <clears throat> leveling is pretty quick. Uh, I do have experience boosted and I should have all engrams enabled. Let's check. Let's check this here. Maybe. start with some health yes so I have I have I don't have the mod auto engrams but I do have all engrams enabled some people like it some people don't I find it super helpful when you're more of a solo player you can go ahead and get use of all of the engrams now it's a little absurd starting on because you just you get spammed with all of the engrams, even if you don't use them. But I find it's it's super helpful for survival moving forward. Now the server here has not had much activity on it, but it has been going strong for oh a week. It's at day 36. I have really long days, standard length for night. And on a scorched earth, long days equals long days. So this is actually a really good spot here because this is at a water vein. This is at a water source. And this, the, the spot that it plopped me down at, honestly, I think is a great place to set up shop, at least a temporary starter place. So what I want to do is, and there's even Gerbalus. I do have to get some stone. And Wood. Brawler. Hunting a cactus. Though it doesn't seem to be giving me wood. I don't think those ones have wood. So let's drop our weight a little bit here. I don't need seeds. It will not help me at this juncture. 
Sandstorm coming. Perfect. We're going to start out right away with a sandstorm that is going to drain my stamina to zero. At what level do I get the tent? Seven. Oh, I'm so close. So we're just going to we're just going to have to suffer through this together. It's going to super sap my... My stamina and my water... Water already drains fast here on Scorched Earth. And... I don't really need berries right now. I'll keep just the simple ones. Put some weight. And I can make the tent, but I think it requires silk. Which... I don't think I'll be able to harvest here because it is the little purpley flowers. But I still stand by this being a good spot, so I just need wood. Hello, Draboa. Is this big guy gonna give me wood? Yes. So I can at least make a pick. I don't know why there's two on here, but. And my goal for starting here is to just get a starting spot here. Adobe is at level 15. We'll try to get to Adobe. I'll try to get to some Adobe so I can have a semi-permanent structure. If I do that, I'm gonna harvest a bit and I need to get some flint so I can make a spear and a hatchet and a campfire and another spear. And I leveled again. Amazing. So the experience is boosted. Um, but I think it's fair. I mean, it's not absurd. It definitely balances out at later levels, because early levels, some people really like starting. And I'm fine with it. It is not my preferred game mode, starting out in ARC. Because you can't do a lot, and everything is hungry and wants to eat you. And that's kind of a hard place to be in. We're gonna do three walls, and we'll get simple structure, simple shelter. And then we can start, start as soon as this sandstorm ends, which is the, you know, it's going to be the running theme for Scorched Earth. As soon as insert weather here ends, because most of the weather in this is pretty debilitating. And maybe I'll just fast forward. I'll just hang out here on this puddle. Dr 
drink some water. Okay, and the sandstorm stopped, and it's clearing up now. And I'm a little encumbered, but that's because the sandstorm filled me up with sand. But let's just uh, start. We're going to power through this. Uh, this is, honestly, this is an excellent spot to start. So starting here is going to be A plus. And we've got some walls. I'm really thirsty today. I don't know why I'm so thirsty. When I'm not thirsty in arc, but I'm thirsty in real life. Let's go get some more wood and I'll make a storage box. So I can uh, put my stuff in. Do I want to make two? I think I want to make two. Choppity choppity. And you'll find in Arc here on Scorched Earth that all things related to Cactus Sap will be your friend. Because you can make Adobe out of it, and you can make Cactus, cactus Broth with it, which will or protect you from dehydration. So we're doing good because we can, we're just eating cactus. But uh, I want that to go up to that. And then, okay, so let's go put the thatch down. And I'm just going to leave it thatch until I'm ready for Adobe. I don't want to go to wood and then Adobe. And the reason why we use Adobe on Scorched Earth is because of the heat waves and the adobe is insulating against heat so it provides you protection from the scorching weather Put door up and wall 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 And then since, because I don't want it to be plain, we're going to do two slopes, and I'm going to need more wood for a roof. But I want to put these guys down, and I'm going to put all of that in there. Put the fire outside. So let's go get more wood. Hey, Jerboa, you'll be my friend here soon. So I'll clunk you on the head and make you my friend. Can these guys give me wood? No, those are going to be berry bushes. Okay. Wood, can I make a roof? I want four. Can I make four? How about you give me four? How's that sound? Uh, you offer seven, I'll take four. And then I want mortar and pestle right away. So I need hide and stone. So now we're gonna have to go hunting. And I can't, I can't bring myself to kill Jerboas because they are gentle, passive creatures that are unable to defend themselves. I will heck and tame them though. Uh, that's a Bob Hood if I ever saw one. Boy. 
a good time. But even this, even this will help protect me against the weather. Now the weather cycles have a period of time in between when the next cycle begins. And I want to say it's 25 to 30 minutes. But I'm not entirely certain. I think it's 25 to 30 minutes. Um, I want mm, fortitude. We're going to get some fortitude started. And even though I, I can't bring myself to harm a Jerboa, I can definitely knock it out. And start to tame it. So, here you go, little buddy. Sorry for, sorry for ruining your day, but we'll be friends. The Jerboas are super helpful in Scorched Earth for determining what weather is coming, is coming because they freak out when weather is on the horizon. So it's really important to get one. Hey, buddy. There, see, we're friends now. Those three Mijo berries made you forget that I bashed you over the head with a club. Okay, so what am I looking for? I am looking for stone and hide. And I don't want to venture too far out because I don't have a respawn point. I have no bed. But if this is a low level, oh yeah, you're a Oh, there's raptors over there. We're not going to deal with that. And a Morella tops. That is having a hard time. Okay. So. Unless that raptor comes up to me, which I really hope he don't, because I wouldn't live. They'll shoot. Welcome to day one arcing. You're trying to find your first creature to unfortunately victimize. <clears throat> and here I am on a rock. Not wanting to deal with a raptor. Is the raptor solo though? If I had just literally one bola. Here, here's what I'm gonna do. Can I make a bow? I can make a bow. Can I make an arrow? Uh, I'll get more flint and make more arrow. And we'll do this. Uh, We'll take out the raptor. Because, you know, we gotta, we gotta keep our area clear of predator bullies. 
We're the only predator bully that's allowed here. Okay, let's see. I think the raptor died. I think the dodec, the dodecarus took care of it. Well, you know what? I will benefit from this. So thank you, Mr. Dodecarus, for the hide. Okay, and then with that, can I make a bola? Thatch, always thatch. Okay, and bola. Oh. I'd love seven bolas, thank you. And we're gonna put you on seven. And uh, let's see if we can't go get that uh, parasaur. It ran off. It's very dangerous of me, by the way, to be running out this early. But you know, gotta get that hide so I can make my mortar and pestle because the mortar and pestle is needed to make my hydroboa. Is needed to make uh, the adobe or the mud. For the adobe. Okay, so you... Oh, it's unfortunate that you're level 150. I would have loved to have tamed you. But... You gotta die, buddy. Unless the bola breaks. I'm not going to get into a fight with Anki. Okay, so this should be plenty of hide for us to get started. And let's get back home. So I'll see you when I get there. All right, and we're home. And I'm hungry, we're getting hungry, so we're gonna go ahead and cook up this meat here. And I'm gonna just quickly get the stone that I need for my mortar and pestle. Is that going to be enough? Nope. We're gonna, sorry, sand. We're going to ditch you for now. So almost all of these rocks, they're sandstone. So almost all of them will give you sand. So I'll always have sand at my disposal. So I don't need to worry about whether or not I'm going to have any. And we'll make a bedroll for now. We can do with the one-time bedroll to start. Unless I can do a bed. Oh, huh, wood. Huh. Imagine that. It was wood. Eat three meat. 
Make a bed. Yeah, we'll make a bed. Bed will be a good respawn point rather than a bed roll, but I'll still keep the bed roll. Uh, I'll put it in a box though, because they're heavy. Put it in this box. And so let me put the mortar and pestle. And then I'm going to start plunking it full of goods to start crapping out some mud. And I'm going to place my respawn. That will be sufficient. And I'm going to put... Well, I'm going to make my last two cloth items that I need. And maybe a standing torch for a night that we can fill with wood. I don't want to have a torch on me just yet. Uh, put you... In the middle enough. In the middle A. And now it's just going to be, let's get some wood, let's get some sand. I want to try to harvest a little bit away from my building here so that I don't interfere with respawns because I, I like having some of the natural looking scenery, some trees and cactus and stones and stuff. I like having those for a while. Uh, am I encumbered? No, I am not. I have another level? Adobe. That's what I wanted to see screaming across my screen. So now we can just replace this immediate little temporary shelter already with Adobe and hopefully get it set up before the next storm comes in. But Adobe is kind of expensive to make, so we'll go through that. But uh, uh, let's just uh, farm for a bit.
So I think that'll be enough uh, clay to start. 800 clay, about 800 for redoing this uh, little shelter in Adobe. So let's see, do we have everything we need? Fiber, which I have in here. Okay, we're going to pull up the wood. So we're going to do same thing that we just did. Can I really only make two? What am I missing? Wood. Okay, well, we'll start out with two. <laughs> Let me go chop down a couple. Cup of cacti. Again, I'd like to chop further away because I do have a shortened respawn radius around structures. But I'd like for that tree to stick around for a bit. And. And then what am I going to do for walls? I'm still going to need plenty more wood. So let's get this guy. I need Seven walls is what I need. Slowly walk back. It can repair you too. <laughs> also, it's raining on scorched earth. Um, that almost never happens. So, it's raining on scorched earth. It does happen. It's just exceptionally rare. So we're going to put you here, and it's just going to be replacing the existing, so it's going to bust it out. I kind of wish that ARC would give you an option in the radial menu to upgrade, air quote upgrade, and then it would just take the raw materials out of your inventory one by one, but no, they would never do that. And this little hut's not going to have any windows, because this is just starter town. We don't need windows. What else do I need? Door. And door. So I need more of this clay. And wood. I will get more wood than I need because then I have to make, make the door and I uh, want to make a sloped right and is there a sloped left? Yes. Two and two. And roof. Oh, so close. So close to this being done. Probably will need to make some more. Yeah, probably gonna need to make some more clay. 
And we're going to replace you and you. That did not. Oh, it's snapping to the roof, which I don't want. One of the problems with building an arc is, yeah, thought so. Uh, everything's a bit squirrely when you're building. Things snap to the wrong items and it just makes things difficult. That and you know what? Since it's I'm just gonna do that. There's a Jerboa outside. Jerboa. Do you want another Jerboa? My little friend. I'm gonna go whack it in the skull. Maybe. If you're good, I'll go knock your little friend out there on confidence, and then we'll feed him too. So I need a little bit more clay. Oh, is that going to be a problem? Interesting. I'll work that out in a minute. I don't want to have to be ducking in and out of my door every time I go in there. That's just not going to work for us. Probably have a bunch of levels to spend, which is nice. Like I said, the way I have it set up, low levels, pretty straightforward. We're going to get you as high up as possible. Sorry for the engram spam on screen. Can I make a stair? There's an adobe stair. That's expensive. 60 clay. Almost done, little Draboa. Let's get some more stone. Some more sand. Yep. I'm encumbered. And honestly, I can ditch those. I don't need them. One thing I really like about Scorched Earth is early access to Dodicarus and Ankylos, Ankies. Um, it just, it makes life easier. I want a roof. I literally need two more clay. Okay. I literally need 30 more wood. <laughs> Okay, let's repair you. Man, I can't wait to get metal. Oh, 
I, I mean, I can. I have to. I don't really have a choice in the matter. But man, I can't wait to get metal. That'd be great. Okay. Adobe. Groove. I didn't already make one, did I? Nope. There you go. 20 fortitude. That is going to be pretty much all the fortitude that I'll need. Do I have enough on me to make a stair? I just need more clay. Okay, we'll have a stair when we get home. And, uh, Yeah, it's nice to have low-level access or early access to the Dodicarus and the Anki because they, uh, they're excellent uh, gathering tames and the Anki is, an ex is great at berry collection. And uh, okay, let's test this out here. And they're not bad in combat. Let's see what the snapping is it gonna let me get in? No. Hmm. Might be snapping weird. Welcome to Ark. No. So Well, I will find out a way to deal with that. Let's see, it's not snapping right. You know what? I'll figure it out. I'm just going to finish this off for now. Because I'm not even going to be able to get out. So I will figure out what's going on with that. And I'm going to close this up for now. I'd like to thank you again for watching and sticking with me on this low-level uh, beginning here on Scorched Earth. Um, again, I appreciate the views that I'm getting and the people that are watching. Thanks again for the helpful suggestions for how to make my content better. If you have any, please, uh, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. You can comment on the video. You can message me on Steam. You can find me on Discord. Okay? Well, stop this for now. And uh, thanks very much. Bye.